This area has two of the tougher fights, I remember. Fight against a Geth armature thing on foot. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like okay. off the damn And also a Kragen that rushes you. Apparently now you can go in that lava and it won't insta kill you. Yeah, it sort of just slowly hurts it. Whereas before it like insta killed you if you went in there. Because I can remember once driving a long way through the level and then accidentally launching myself into the lava and having to redo like half a bloody level. Looks very nice though. Gif. Somewhere on this level there's like an alternate path you can take or something. Trying to knock down the front door seems stupid. Make him there we go. <laughs> Danny's voice sounds so weird then. see that whoa it's like actively regenerating the explosion again and again and again that's weird kill cool. right. try and get a shot of them exploding mid shot it's bloody hard there we go Quick, what you can do in camera mode. Nice, right. That's enough of that. Is there any in there? Um, trying where we got to go. I know we got to open the gate up. There might be something here as well. I can't remember. Nothing here, okay. To this side. There's an enemy in here.
Oh, but it's... thing. Whoa! What was going to plow through it? for him that's the easy way can't shoot while the repairs are going anyway nearly there all right now it's possible to get the Mako through here with great difficulty um, you can get the Mako through there and have it for the fight I'll just try You can just have the maker in the fight, it makes it a lot easier.
he's yeah, he's dead. Yeah, but it's always no sorry, the sniper is sometimes fun to use. But yeah, you're flying. Fight. Can I guess so we'll save? Just in case. I remember this area from like the E3 demo of this they showed in like two thousand and five or six maybe. It looked quite different then and you could actually just switch between characters as well. Right. Let's go to the ads first I think. Take cover for okay, don't take cover. I wanna go over there. Fuckers are really annoying. Just trying to lift him and stop him. Just that left, I think it is, isn't it? Alright. Can't seem to take cover. There we go. Easily against that. I doubt this will work on him. Um, Alright, let's sabotage, overload and overload on him. Down there, I didn't see him. I need possibly a sniper. Right. And he's dead. That went alright. The fucking jumpy ones are a pain in the ass. Right, uh, there we go, up here. Let's try and save Pliara.
Can I skip this one? No. Can't skip this elevator. Something else there. Uh, let's try hacking one of you. Oh my god! Oh dear, that was close. That was really close. To Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Right. I think it's a, yeah, you have to use the mining drill or something to get through. thing. Oh yeah. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. 
That button over there should shut down this containment field. back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Oh, shit. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. All right. Annoying fight coming up. This Kragan's a pain in the ass. Time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> I like your attitude. Right, get him in the air if I can. Yep. Pack up these two where I can. Garris up. Uh, what can I use? Turn then. Alright, let's get warp on him. Let's get some sabotage. And overload on him. And he's dead. I was doing an insanity playthrough once, and that's where I pretty much gave up. <laughs> <laughs> that fight, that Krogan in particular is just a pain in the ass. Okay. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 
How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just a bunch of random images, even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. The cipher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. It's worth a shot. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid, I, I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. 
Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. Good day, Great enough writing. Thank <laughs> you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Okay, yep. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> the Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. It's always a Tyrion that's the fucking one. To try and insult me or undermine me. <laughs> 